it's also one YouTuber that I want to talk about everyone that now I'm not saying I like him but I also don't like him a love-hate relationship all right Ariel it is feeding time for you good morning where are you oh there you are hi there you excited Starting the day off by feeding Ariel and let's see if she has any interest. Oh yeah, she definitely does. Here she comes. Oh yeah, here she comes. Go, go, go. You got this girl. You got it. You got it. Perfect. Good job. Perfecto. That is what I think to me is a good intro to start out today's vlog. Oh, and by the way, everybody, uh, it is officially NFL Sunday, which means, oh my god, why is this camera so blurry? So like I was saying, everybody, is today it's week one of fo Sunday football. And I am getting all my gear wrapped up for the day, guys. Obviously, I still got this old Aaron Rodgers Packer jersey, but uh, we don't have to talk about that anyway now, do we? Regardless, though, I'm still going to wear it because I'm a Packers fan anyway. And to be totally honest with you, it seems that my favorite number, I guess, growing up as a kid was number 12. So I consider that as kind of like my lucky number. So I'm going to be wearing this jersey regardless because I am a true Packers fan. And I am going to be supporting my team no matter how bad how good or bad the, the game is, I'm still gonna wear this. So, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on, and uh, well, we're gonna be watching the first game of the season. Oh, Ariel, by the way, did you enjoy that ju juicy mouse? Okay, I'm glad. Many of you guys know that I follow other content creators out there that are also animal lovers just like I am, but there's also one YouTuber that I wanna talk about everyone that some people have actually been following for a while now for the last few years, and he's certainly somebody that, that I have actually been paying attention to lately. Now, I'm not saying I like him, but I also don't like him. So it's either, it's kind of like a, a love-hate relationship. But I'm gonna go ahead and discuss with him, everybody. You guys may know who I'm talking about or not. You probably read the title anyway. Paul Cafaro. Wait, no, it's Paul Cafaro. Paul Cafaro, everyone. Now, when it comes to Paul Cafaro, everyone, a lot of people... No, well, not really a lot of people. Not a lot of people hate the guy. I'm going to be completely honest, everyone. Paul Cafaro has been a great... Is obviously known to be, especially to the aquatic world, probably one of the most impressive... Uh, aquatic fish keepers on YouTube right now and he's already got like what two and a half three million followers on his platform and I'm gonna be 100% honest everyone I don't know don't know much about keeping fish I'm really not a fish expert I am gonna be doing something interesting I'm thinking maybe sometime in the future not say I'm doing it right away everyone but I might add an aquarium sometime in my room with some fish in it too. I'm not gonna say what kind though. Not goldfish, definitely not goldfish. Big no-no there. Don't get a goldfish, everyone. But with that being said, Paul Cafaro has done amazing things out there in the animal world, whether if it's kind of like, you know, visiting other like animal like sanctuaries or zoos. And he's obviously kind of friends with my good friend Brian as well. Even though I've never met Paul Cafaro in person, he's actually about, he's coincidentally somewhere around my age too, like 21, 22 years old, something like that. And he's just had more success. He's had an amazing journey here on the internet, everyone. And I kind of always dreamt about having kind of that similar adventure. But that being said, where I live, it's a very, very little chance with that said. But anywho though, Without getting any further ado, everyone, I need you guys to help me figure out what in the absolute hell happened to my cat, Boo. What happened to her? Boo? Boo! What happened to you? You lost all your fur. You lost all your fur, sweetheart. You're, you look like a poodle. You literally look like a poodle. But a feline poodle, th that is. I'm actually kidding, everyone. She actually just got, like, a, a pet grooming done earlier today while I was at work, and... 
my mom said it, it was time for her to get a new one because her fur on her was kind of looking to get like maggy and stuff kind of like getting some clumps together because she has so much fur on her everybody but when during the trip though she, that's like the, the stress is part about her is that she doesn't like the trip but when she gets there though and gets a warm bath there at the pet salon, she really loves warm bubble baths, which is interesting. She really likes warm baths. You normally don't think of a cat that enjoys a bath, but apparently Boo does. She kind of likes warm baths. Right, Boo Boo? You like a warm bath? Yeah? She doesn't want to answer me, but that's okay. But anywho though, but back to Paul Cafaro. Paul Cafaro, man oh man, he's absolutely an amazing person, everyone. He's very friendly from what I've been told in person. Even though, like I said, I've never met the guy, I would really like to someday, by the way. So with that said, my thoughts on Paul Cafaro, it's hard to say. It really is hard to say, everyone. I'm not saying I hate the guy. I don't. No way. But that being said, though, if I really do like him, I gotta get to know the guy too, right? Whether it's contenting him through social media or even planning a collab together, I gotta get to know the guy. So with that said, everybody, let Paul Cafaro know that I would like to actually meet up with him in person sometime. Something animal related. Like someplace where there's a lot of wildlife. Whether it's like at a, a big zoo or a sea aquarium, whatever the case may be. Feel free to let him know, everybody. So with that said, I'm just gonna conclude this as a part one of my idea of thinking of Paul Cafaro. With that said, feel free to let him know you guys. I would really like to meet him sometime. So I don't know if I told you guys this, but for a long time we lived out in this neighborhood for at least a decade now. And ever since I ever started doing YouTubing, we have had a very rare moment when I've ever, ever showed you guys my septic tank and I have we've only I think pumped it at least once or twice in the last decade so I'm gonna give you guys just a glimpse of what it looks like here that is our septic tank right there and <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that's something you don't see every day uh, this is I think the last time we got it pumped was like five years ago I think it was it's been quite a while it's been a long time since we've had it pumped recently but it is due for another pump everyone and with that being said, the temperatures out here are starting to cool down. We're already getting into fall. And of course, my birthday's coming up pretty soon. My 22nd birthday, by the way. And I don't know exactly what we have planned for my 22nd birthday at this time. I really don't know, to be honest with you. But with that said, obviously with the seasons changing, everyone, uh, it's gonna be time to change uh, gears when it comes to fishing. Because right now, as far as I know, we're going to have salmon coming up shallow here with any time now to do some spawning. And the bass are going to be a little bit quiet for, for the time being. But the bass season isn't quite done here in Michigan. But it's taking like a break or something like that. But with that said, that's something I wanted to show you guys was that septic tank in there. But for some reason, the guy that's supposed to help us pump it is... I don't know. He, he hasn't shown up. Even though we've dug the hole up, it's been dug up for almost a week now. And the guy hasn't shown up yet to help pump it. So I don't know what the deal is there. I mean, my mom, from what she told me, is he's supposed to show up any day. He hasn't done that yet. So for now, we're just parking my car uh, right in the center of our driveway here. So with that said, yeah, I know. Life uh, here in the UP is going to get kind of boring here pretty soon. But yeah, I'm going to keep up making up with some fishing content, everybody, on my other channel. Jim Goes Fishing, by the way. Feel free to subscribe to that. And I should be having another video dropping also today on Friday well by the time I'm recording this it's Tuesday but by the time this video drops it will be the same day as that fishing video drops so with that said feel free to subscribe to it everybody because right now I kind of want to do this as a legacy because my older brother before he passed away he loved to fish he really did love to fish I've seen pictures of him growing up as a kid catching different kinds of fish whether it's like pike salmon bass you name it around here so I kind of want to dedicate that channel to my older brother, everyone. And I, and believe it or not, there aren't that many content creators where I live. But there are a couple in here where I live in Michigan that are both content creators and fishermen as well. So I think I might be doing my first fishing collab here pretty soon. I don't know exactly when, but I will provide you guys an update on that here on the vlog here pretty soon. So stay tuned for that, everyone. But yeah, let's go ahead and head inside because... Right now I'm wearing, I'm, I'm in short sleeves and it, it's getting windy out and it's kind of cold. So yeah, I'm ready to go inside now. 
All right, everyone, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap this video up for the day here, so feel free to share your guys' thoughts and opinions about maybe, who, what do you think about Paul Cafaro, everyone? Do you like the guy, or do you not really like him? Um, and if you guys do like him, share what you guys think about him. If not, same results there, share your guys' thoughts about him. So, with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to wrap it up, everybody. And uh, as for me and Miss Poodle here, we're gonna see you guys in the next one. Ow, Ooh, easy. Easy now, boo. Why do you always like to bite me? Why?